All right. So enough chitter chatter. 198. I'm sorry, but I can't let you see my son. Here you go. On Doke Show is the only MC that makes me wish his trauma did not happen. Normally, it's needed for entertainment. A great story. Me reading the whole novel is definitely because of it. Yeah, I I agree with you there, because Doksha's trauma. Yes, it's given us the character that we all love right now. But it's his trauma is so deep seated that his trauma, honestly, his trauma is acting. This is something that I probably never have thought of until like right now. His trauma is actually acting like trauma. Usually in in anime or manga that I've read or watched, trauma don't really act like trauma. Trauma has like, if it does, <coughs> it'll be very harsh. Like people have like panic attacks or they'll freak out. It'll be like, it'll be like extreme instances of trauma like actually like attacking or something like that. But Doksha's trauma is actually acting like trauma. And it's like trauma for some people, I don't wanna say for everyone because everyone is different. For some people it is physical and it does attack them. Some people it happens a lot of times. Some people it doesn't happen that many times. And the same, like his trauma doesn't affect him well, it does affect him damn near every day because it's it changed the way how he thinks. But his trauma has a more <coughs> has a more aggressive way of like poking its head up, and it's when it's like it's when he has to directly address it is when like his trauma will show and take control. And it'll lead him instead of him kind of being in control, quote unquote. <coughs> it acts like tr it really has like a real, a real effect. It feels real. Like it feels, it feels like a, an actual part of him. And it's like, I, it's, I wish I, it's like, I wish I did that trauma didn't happen to him. Cause it's like, what would it, what would his character be? But it's like it feels weird because it's like it did happen. It's it's weird. It's weird. I don't know. These characters are a little bit too real for my taste. It's like I'm now I'm thinking like can you imagine telling someone, man, I wish your trauma didn't happen to you. And it's just like, well, it did, asshole. Thank you for <laughs> you know it's something I live with every day. So yeah, it's weird. <laughs> it's weird all right <coughs> excuse me let me read 198 top in do i want this to play um bam, bam, bam. nah i don't want that no too happy we'll let her rock all right, I'm sorry, but I can't let you see my son. It's a mother's job to stop her son from hanging out with the wrong crowd. I think it's time I sent my son back to reality. Okay. Reading again, part five, chapter 33. Then I guess I'll have to kill you. Chung Yak, no! Damn it. I thought Blink never appeared in Blink. It does. You just don't know about it. I told him time and time again that he should stop bringing up anything that ends up censored. Your channel seems to be all the rage these days. Anywhere you go in the Soul Branch, <coughs> they're all talking about your channel. Especially that incarnation. But I also catch a lot of flack. But more than anything, I'd like to know why you wanted to see me. The ninth scenario is coming to an end right now. 
sorry, but I must get back to that was why I wanted to see you. Oh. The constellations don't want you to interfere. Intervene, excuse me. A number of nebulae are unhappy with the scenario. It's because of that incarnation. But he's still just an incarnation. He can't affect the entire scenario. Do you really think that? No, he's not just an incarnation. Right. Oh, I was going to say he's a constellation, but that's not what we were going to. He will become a monster. Did you forget what happened back then? Did you? Are we referring to something else Dokesha did or are we talking about another instance? <laughs> we cannot let such oddities take place ever again ever. Come on, do a better job. All right. In the past, a historical constellation appeared in the Korean Peninsula. With his superior talent, he posed a threat to the balance of the scenarios, stirring complaints in many. Goryeo? Although we ha eventually removed him from the scenarios despite the probability aftermath, came back alive from an alternate dimension and made himself a constellation. <coughs> That's why Goryo's so like interested in Doksha. He sees a little of himself in Doksha. Please. <coughs> Please help me. I need your help right now. Goryo's top swordsman. Jung Young Chiok. Okay. Interesting. It does. It makes sense why he he was he became so interested in Doksha. I'm aware that a few constellations have complaints. They must be annoyed that Doksha Kim refused to join their nebula. But haven't they already? Haven't they already taken action about that? How is it fair for them to issue a fate even before the start of the 10th scenario? You're defending that incarnation. I'm not defending it. I'm talking about how unfair the scenario is. I don't think you're in position to say that. Huh? Forget it. I'm not here to blame you for anything. Then why? I'm sure you're smart enough to know. Have you never found all of this strange? Why do you think the constellations used fate already? If they were curious about the future, they could just use future sight to peek into the future. With that, they can predict how their target will act in the future and slowly shape the future to their liking. But they didn't do that this time. Why do you think that is? Could it be? It must be. Interesting. That I was I, I was gonna say this too. It's it's been leaning this way. It, this makes the most sense. <coughs> Doksha's acting on his own. He has he has more information than they do. So he's doing whatever. I don't want to say whatever comes like he's essentially doing whatever comes to his mind. So there's nothing to look into the future because Doksha could go whichever way the scenario pushes him. So it's like if the scenario is leading him this way, he'll be like, all right, I'll do, 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 okay, and do this. And then it'll be like, all right, then come this way. he will be like, you know what? I'll do this. <laughs> so it makes sense that you can't no one would be able to see the future if he's just doing willy-nilly that um <coughs> that no one in the star stream could see into constellation doksha kim's future <laughs> excuse me something seems to have changed I, i'm gonna mention something else i'm because I'm thinking very meta. I'm not thinking in the realms of being in the series right now. 
Something seems to have changed. I can't believe it took four hours. I didn't think it'd take me four hours. Okay, okay. Whoa. What's that? What's that? How is that possible? I don't know. What I know for sure is that many constellations. <coughs> Excuse me. Sorry. That are afraid that Dokshiken may end up reaching blank. Hmm. So this word is still censored. What I meant to say, clarification, is the end of it all. It's interesting that the end of all scenarios is an actual location. Because they keep bleeping it out like it's an actual location. Are you done then? No. Let me stabilize it a little more. There's something I need for you to do for me. Need you to do for me. I made that way more complicated than I need to be. If you get this done right, I'll nominate you to become an advanced Dokubi. All right. So what I was going to mention, um, <laughs> tired I'm, I'm over coughing we're not even halfway through the chapter um okay so what i was saying i seen a bunch of you uh but brought some of the vast constellation unfortunately fate on doksha seemed too just too dra dra drastic um actually can't this be another effect of the fourth wall possibly but i i I'll say possibly, but I lean more towards no because Doksha is a unique experience in this world. He's a one of one, so it's hard to know what the effects of anything that they would do would be on someone like him. But um, what's up, Lachi? <clears throat> if you can see the future, are they even a real main character? <laughs> more like an event, like Paradise. Uh, Reinheit um, said that nobody ever reached the end of the scenarios. Starstream um, Corporation seems a bit corrupt in the upper ranks, as it should be. <laughs> but the way I was thinking, whenever we had got to, what point was that? I was thinking where they said no one in the Starstream could see Dokshi Kim's future. And it's like, I, I don't know why. It's the first time I really thought about this in this way. And it's think, I'm thinking this way, but I don't necessarily understand it. So it's just a thought that popped in my head and I feel like I'll just say it out loud and I'll just continue because I don't know how to expound on it either. But um, it's, it's like we have the constellations, the scenarios, the star streams, the nebulae, all the incarnations, everything. And all of that seemingly exists in a story that was already written and already took place but then was given to an individual that is now living in what was written so it's like it in in like this weird way it's hard it's it would be hard for i don't even know how to expound on this but this is just what popped in my head it would be hard for these beings to foresee what they're a, a part of I don't even know how to explain it because it's like it's all written it's already been written it's already been played out but it's already been played out but now being unveiled Man, it's already being, it's a story that's being told. No, how do I word this? How do I word this? I feel like I have something clever on my mind. It's a story that's already been told, but then given to, it's too easy to use unreliable narrator, but it's been given to an individual 
who necessary who doesn't really appreciate some it's someone who's live editing a story <laughs> that's what that's what this is Doksha's live editing and it's hard to see the future of someone's changing things whenever they don't like something right that's the only way I can can think of this where it's just like usually if everyone is sitting there and everyone has the script everyone would be able to look towards the end and know what was happening but it's like we all have had the same script and this guy had the same script too but he's the one that's at the head of the seat now so whenever we're <coughs> whenever we're all sitting around and we're reading it and we get to a point and it's just like well this is supposed to happen and he's like nah we're gonna do this well, what the hell are you doing that's not what's supposed to happen i ain't like that so so yeah and now it's like the whole room now the whole room is is like okay well we don't like that he's changing stuff so we're gonna try to undo the things that he's doing and then he's like well i'm just gonna undo what you guys are doing at the same time but at the end of the day i'm still in control loosely it's weird it's like doksha has he has control of the story and he has control of the story and the story is trying this is like final fantasy 7 <laughs> the new remakes <laughs> where the the plot ghosts are trying to keep the story the way it was the plot ghosts are trying to make sure that final fantasy 7 happens like the 1997 but then you got another character who's trying to change things and is going against the plot ghost and then weird stuff starts happening because we have two different people trying to do different things and they're doing this and then weird stuff happens as a result that's what's going on <laughs> this was the weirdest tangent i'm sorry <laughs> oh gosh oh man that's the weirdest way i could could put it but i'm and i'm looking for di i'm looking for new ways to to view this series Oh my gosh. I'm sorry for coughing all up in your ear. Let me shut up. We got garlic on the screen. All right. Nom, 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 nom. You know what? Your mom didn't seem like that bad a person. Just keep eating your mugwort. I know I shouldn't meddle in your family affairs, but she was just looking after her son. How is she looking after her son? There are many parents out there who don't give a rat's ass about their children. Huh? From a drummage. Come to think of it, my mom mentioned you. She seemed to think I was dating you. She knows a good woman when she sees one. But she said she likes Sangha more than you. So when are we going to kill her? All this talking makes me feel like we've become characters in the novel. Young doesn't know yet, but she will eventually become a character. Just like Seongguk. I can't believe we're actually bringing these guys up. And we actually brought this up as well. And uh, Min Sub Jung before her. Did before her, excuse me. <laughs> I don't know whether that's a good thing or not. But why is it that I don't want her to end up a character. We talked about this. We talked, didn't we talk about this the last time we were together? The last time we were together, we talked about this, didn't we? I wanna say we did, right? Um. <laughs> like weird, weird tangents keep come and see the vision. Okay. Um, you like the story tries to re return to the path it was originally on. Yes, <laughs> that's a better way to put it than me rambling for ten minutes, Alvaro. Thank you. 
we did talk about this about um like eventually her returning <coughs> excuse me yeah it was with the whole su young cult we did and i i man we brought this up about him not wanting to be alone where if it's like he she's the only person that he can actually just be normal right he's she's the only person that he could be normal with. <coughs> she's the only person that understands the fact that they're in a story he still has to put on airs for everyone else so with her being gone that would leave him to be completely alone even though he cares about his crew there's it's a difference the complete difference uh, interesting 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 this is a couple chapters where we've been picking up what like the next chapter has been putting gonna end up putting down a little bit interesting right. i've got it i think it's stable enough get ready get ready we're busting out of here three swing style the name was given to the style of swordsmanship used by Zhang Yong Chiak since it said that he never swung his sword more than three times before he defeated his foe. Okay. <clears throat> A power that's beyond your control enters your right arm. Wow. The first swing cuts down a thousand men. The second swing cuts a mountain in half. The third swing splits the ocean open. Oh, that's a crazy looking panel. Wow, what a panel. <clears throat> what a panel I like that one too that looks like you know, I was about to say I'm like this reminds me of something take a guess who who's thinking how I'm thinking who's thinking how, this reminds me of something I'm not even gonna give no hints just what does it look like something just popped straight in my head I'm like wait this reminds me of something I'm like, what does this remind me of? Yami's dimensional slap? I don't, who's Yami's, Yami who? <laughs> That's not what I was thinking. Now you, who, Yami's dimensional snap slash. Brother, I should not be pausing right here. The wind scar, sorry. All right, let me continue. <laughs> No, I've never seen Yami animated. I've never seen Yami animated, so I'd have no idea. I, I, for a second, I'm like, who? No, I've 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 only read Black Clover. I never watched it. I've never watched it, so I have no idea what it looks like. Damn. Look at these clouds! <laughs> I looked over, and you're like high quality clouds. I look back. Damn, look at these clouds. I love this panel. No, we actually cut out, cut our way out. Uh, I know what you're thinking when the boost screen. <laughs> I definitely did think of that. <laughs> I definitely did think of that. I definitely did. Definitely did. When Gotenks. When Gotenks and Boo scream their way out of the um, room of spirit in time. All right, 190, 199. Let me keep going. I've been babbling. I'm sorry. I've been babbling. My bad. 199. That was a good chapter, though. That was a really good chapter. That was a really, 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 really good chapter. All right. The first sword. Okay. The explosive flow of the story distorts the mechanical gateway array method. 
The explosive flow of the story breaks the barrier <coughs> created by the 100 day seal. I want to see if it was going to split the mountain. It said it would. I wanted to see if it was going to split the mountain. Goodness gracious. They said it was too much power. So this is the skill that can only be found once in a million years. Created by the life's work of a genius swordsman. If only I could make this completely mine. So you could have that. <laughs> and electrification. Goodness gracious, boy. That's not a split. Where's the mountain gone? <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> Where's the mountain at? That's not a split. <laughs> that was funny. That's not a split. Where's the mountain? Oh, that was funny. All right. If only I could make this completely mine. It's unfortunate that bookmark skill only applies to the characters of the novel. Bookmark skill has been updated because you have reached a new level. Oh, a new feature. Oh, <laughs> we about to take it. A new feature has been added. Your understanding of the character Gorio's top swordsman has increased by a tiny amount. But I've never had my understandings of a constellation increase before. List of bookmark characters. Judge of Evil, Hyun Jung. Still Blade, Hyung Sung Lee, Beast Tamer, Yu Sung Shin, uh, something, uh, uh, it's like Lycanon, and then Kyrios, Returnee. I forgot, um, Lycanon's title. I forgot what it's called. Interesting. He'll be a fool to let go of Way of the Wind or Electrification. This is the power of a historical grade constellation. Right. He's not on the list. Maybe because the status window said it went up by a tiny amount? Maybe if my un understanding of them grows gradually, then I'll be able to use the skills of the constellations one day. What, what's her face? I've only used the first sword <coughs> of the three, three swing style and my right arm's in tatters. What's happening? Question marks. Oh, we're fighting. I forgot. I forgot we were fighting. I forgot we were fighting. Brother, no. Kneel, everyone. What the hell? The true voice of a constellation. Why are they hearing their true voice? How messed up is the probability right now for people to hear that? They're all too highly synchronized with their supporting constellations. What a mess. Do they all want to die? Doksha, listen carefully and don't let anyone know. Hmm? You'll die if you keep this up. There's only one way for you to escape your fate. Join a group who can protect you or else interesting that's interesting oh snap oh snap many constellations are watching whoa i love the art of the constellations right here i love the art of them i just love the style the stylization of it <clears throat> this is creepy though you got all these individuals who are just fighting each other turning their attention to him that's creepy as hell you know this remind it reminds me of like zombies when when you make a noise and they all turn your way it's just like damn it so it feels like especially the colors too i can sense all the constellations eyes on me someone is blocking the young's messages from reaching me it seems like you're afraid. 
No. I'd say things gotten more interesting. New constellations are chanting your name. Woo! You have received 2,000 coins as a chant bonus. The hurdle of fate is steep. It's still just a hurdle no matter how, no matter how high it is. So cool. If push comes to shove, I can just bust it down. Ding. Was, this is what I was waiting for. <coughs> this is what I was waiting for. I choose the fifth bookmark, Kyrios Rodgren. Electrification, baby. Let's go. The power of a returnee. Interesting. Damn it. Golly. Damn. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Damn. What's that panel so damn cool? The whole thing. Damn. Panels, what the hell? What are you doing to me? Sorry. Hold on, my bad. Crap. Goodness gracious. <laughs> I'm I'm glad that he spams it too. It makes sense. Like you don't it's like you give him this <laughs> you make it busted. In a lot of other series we wouldn't use it that much. I love that he defaults to this because it's like no. We need him to be powerful, and this makes him powerful. Oh my gosh. Oh man. Out of my way. What did he drink? What the? Look at him. I don't know what you're fighting about, but don't you think it's time you stopped? It's the Ugly King. I thought he died. Since you know who I am, you should do as I say. Most of the incarnations respect you. I want to thank you for the eighth scenario. It was true that you res resurrected. The story of your resurrection is spreading far and wide. A new achievement of medi me mediating Messiah has been added to your fifth story. We were following this. We were following the people who saved me, but we were attacked. They must be people who used to be paradise, right? I'm sure Zhang Yak and the others are here as well. In that case, the others should be. Chuckle, is this? Is this? Buff Granny? Is this Buff Granny? It is! <laughs> it's nice to see you again, young man. How did you get out of the mechanical gateway array method? The Wanderers as expected. Why are you fighting each other? Because of you, of course. We can't let you reach the next scenario. Is that what my mother told you? <laughs> Buff grin. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, but don't think I can go easy on you this time, man. All of your stats will be increased by 10 due to the protection from the constellation Gorio's top swordsman. Okay? Spirits guide me. This is a tough panel, too. All of your stats have temporarily exceeded their limits. Uh, 
he's gone. He's gone. Brother, don't don't knock her brain out her head. Don't do it. Goodness. Goodness gracious. Goodness gracious. Stop. Stop him. <laughs> oh man, Doksha. Should have known that the chapter was going to end. That panel is too good. Why this chapter go by in like five minutes? This chapter went by too quick. I told you not to knock Granny's brain out her head. <laughs> The one thing um, that the one thing that's interesting about this, I wanna, I'm trying. I'm gonna sit here for a second on this. Is um, <coughs> this feels like this feels like the first time. That Doksha doesn't have a clear way out. Usually it feels like even when things become hopeless, it's like, well, I know Doksha's about to think of something soon. And we've had this fate for quite a minute now. And I don't know if this is per se him not being able to think of a way out of it or if this is <laughs> we have so many different people worried about him that we're not getting to see his we're not getting to see his thought process fully If, if that if that's making right if, if that's making sense it could very well be Doksha has not come up with, with a plan yet. how to get out of this but it also feels like <coughs> you have his mom like mom doesn't want anything bad to happen to him so we're getting to see the efforts that she's going through you know Sangha doesn't want anything to happen to him we're seeing the efforts that she went through. We know his friends don't want him to die. We've already seen them grieve him. And we know that they don't want anything to happen to him. And we get to see the efforts that they're possibly going to go through too. So that nothing really, so that nothing happens to him. And I feel like that that's the first time where we're having multiple parties have clear, we don't want this to happen to them. And trying to do things. Never got that before. And. He needs to scam right? Probably. But. What this feels like. Moving past that. What this feels like is. Doksha has been able to scam his way. Out of everything so far in this series. And right now, what this feels like is <coughs> probability, the star stream, telling him you can't scam your way out of this. That's what this feels like. 
it feels like they have put him in a no scam situation, a no scam scenario where you can't scam your way out of this. And Dokes is probably going to scam his way out of this. But it feels like this is the most, this doesn't feel like this is the most effort that the star stream as a collective has put together against him to get him a body. My, my my voice don't got much longer. Um, so it it's clear that they are trying to get this guy up out of here. Now, if it'll work, I think plot will be the determining factor of that. <laughs> but I'm not sure if it will work. <coughs> There's still two variables that we are uncertain of. Ah, no we're not. Ah, yes, we are there's still I was cuz I'm I'll just say it. There's still two variables <coughs> that we're uncertain of. Uncertain of. One is what happens to Doksha in this timeline if Jungyok regresses. And two, what happens if Doksha dies for real for real? Because so far he's died, yes. But it's never been like, oh, I'm dead, dead. It's never been that. It's always been like, I've died and I've ended up somewhere else. <coughs> I've died and I've gone on a side quest. What happens if he like dies, dies? I don't even know what dies, dies mean in this universe because all of the constellations this splitting off into another and splitting off into another tangent but i i was but when i said splitting off i see what you said um, but, uh, <coughs> where it's like gorio died and then from another dimension came back and was like hey yeah i'm here now so it's like what what is death in this in this series what's death what's real because we have all of these different things that were are considered mythology and all these different stories that have existed and all of this stuff but in the star stream they're real and but they still hold their historical context and all i don't get it i still don't understand that but what does what does that what like what like what does the what does it mean for doksha to for him to die i don't even think it's possible for him to die <coughs> i think english <laughs> Wow, brain melted. I don't even know what I was trying to say. Um, <laughs> um I I don't even think it's possible. Like I I'm not my brain's like for real for real. Um, I think that if even if Doksha were to like for real die, that fourth wall or something would place him back into the story somehow some way he feels like <coughs> is this the right word to use hold on I need to Google this before i say it just the um the right word to use <laughs> um hold on He would like I feel like Doksha would be um he would be a reader that will still be able to read the story. I feel like the he would be placed back in the story. Like he feels like like I don't is Spectre the right word to use? He feels like I think the actual definition of Spectre 
and me thinking about Spectre from DC is two completely different things. He would feel like the Spectre from DC. He would feel like that, where it's like he's something that always needs to be there. Right? He was, he's something that needs to be there. So I feel like if he were to die, somehow, some way, he would get replaced back into the story. That I I do I do feel that way. I do feel that way. I feel like <laughs> come hell or high water, Doksha will get placed back into the story. I, I genuinely do. Feel that way. Um. Then they mentioned that constellations die when their story stops. Being told they did mention that. Way back when they were fighting Pildu in the land. They did. They did. They definitely did. But what does that mean? So it's like, all right. So let's hypothetically say that the story of when I dropped my quarter. All right. That's this constellation. Weirder constellations. I probably will be introduced. Right. Story. Story of... My my third quarter that fell out of my pocket is a story that ends up <coughs> ends up becoming infamous because I needed the third quarter for X, Y, and Z, and it's a story that I tell and tell and tell and it tells and it gains traction, and then like people forget about it because all the people I told never told it again, and then they die off and they don't have it anymore. Like what happens? Like all right, so that story is like it becomes alive, it's alive, whatever, and then. No one tells it anymore. And it dies. But then like a millennia from now, for whatever reason, someone wrote down or this someone wrote down my <coughs> my three my my third quarter story and someone picks the story back up and is like, man, that's an interesting story. I don't know why it would be. The existence of quarters don't happen it don't aren't there anymore. So a story about a quarter makes sense. So then the story starts being retold again a whole millennia after after it would have initially died off. So what then what happens then when when stories that haven't been told and they run out of monies or probability or something or how whatever that happens and after a gajillion years it's getting told again for whatever reason. Then what happens? Does the constellation come back to life? Is it just an empty story? Does it hold no weight? <clears throat> Does it just become forgotten, like like Peace Land? Whenever you get to the end of, end of the Peace Land page, whenever it, whenever we got to the end of that, and I was like, it's the end now, and the story has been told, and we close that out, and then it what it, I don't know. <coughs> See that goes into the the big brain of the the constellation stuff, and it's just like, yeah, I don't know what to do. Bleh, it's just dust. <laughs> I don't know where to go, so I just I don't go there. <laughs> These last two chapters have been sending me there, but um, that's why I don't go there. I'm like I don't know what to do, but um, but yeah, great chapters. Man. My voice is toast. My voice is toast. I do. I want to go back and reread these. Um. <laughs> Um, I need to go back in the chat. People are concoct. Hold on. Um, oh, there's a lot. My bad. Um, the constellation spent so much probability, making sure. Yeah, there will be some huge price that comes. Yes, yes, yes. Or what if the nebula make him choose? Like we could lift the fate we forced on you if you join us. Type plot. Uh huh. Knowing the writing of uh, omniscient reader, go either way. Wait, there's so many ways this could go that could lead the story in drastically different directions. I agree with that. No more jokes, bro. What do you mean? <laughs> <coughs> Excuse me. My theory is that if Doksha dies, he'll stay in level three omniscient reader skill. That would be interesting. So he just floats around forever. He'll be a reader. They'll still be able to read the story. He'll try to interfere in the story by becoming ghosts. Yeah, species. 
Yeah. Yeah, that's a cool way. What if um since his soul didn't die, he can he can find himself a new body? You saw that already you sung, yes we did. Um then they mentioned that yeah, okay. Um, gotcha. Kind of glad we got to do two chapters in one stream since they were. Yeah, yeah, I, I do agree with that. Because this chapter, <coughs> 199 felt really short. It really did. And I was like, ah, man, came out of nowhere. I spent so long um on the first one that this one just went by like that. Went by really quick. <laughs> I do think it's interesting that Soo Young was like, hey, man, your mom doesn't seem half bad, right? And I, but I love how <laughs> she also says, I don't want to met, I like, I don't want to meddle in y'all family business because it's family business, right? I don't know what baggage y'all got, but she seems like she's trying to help out. And Doug's just like, what, what, describe helping out. What do you mean by helping out? <coughs> But also to see how Doksha works, where it's like, Stu Young's like, man, your mom doesn't seem half bad. Seems like she's trying to help out. You know she don't like you, right? <laughs> Instantly, it's just like, <coughs> it's just how the boy is. Because that's basically what he did, where she's just like, kind of talking positive about her. She don't like you. She says she likes Anga better. And then Stu Young's like, Si Young's like, so when we kill her, when we when we get this chick up out of here, she don't like me? Well, what is there not to like about me? What do you mean she likes someone else? <laughs> so it's just interesting seeing seeing this boy and how he works. And how much he doesn't like his mom. <laughs> <coughs> she, she did give us the hint that her parents didn't really care about her. Or what if they did? And she doesn't. And those memories are the ones she gave to the other Sue Young. Ow! Sorry. Ah. Uh. My bad. Um. Sorry for yelling into the microphone. <laughs> I um. I sprained my middle finger playing volleyball today, and I tried to I tried to double snap, and I can't ow, I can't snap. All this, uh, all this through here, both sides, jacked up, jacked up. So I tried to pop out, but I can't, I can't snap with my left hand, so. I can snap with my left hand. I just can't. You get what I mean. You get what I mean. Ow. So yeah. Um Brother, I, I can't think of anything else. I can't. I went off on that tangent. That took all my juices. Because I I was I was I was out there swimming for something. I was swimming for something. I didn't want to say anything that I said before. I zap. That took everything. <laughs> that and my voice is toast. And now I need to <coughs> make the choice if I want to stay up and replace some equipment because I had to buy new equipment. None of this stuff is working, right? I still got to replace this monitor that's over here because it got blown out in a power outage a power surge power outage blew this monitor and then when i went when i got sick i came down here the first day i was down here was um and actually tried to work on the computer it was sunday so i went monday to sunday without touching it anything and i got down here and um this monitor wouldn't work but it's like how my system is because I have like my PlayStation, my Switch, and my computer all like 
<coughs> HDMI split it and switched so that I have three monitors set up, but this monitor acts as the screen for my consoles. So whenever I turn my consoles on, it'll switch over, become the screen for my games. And when I'm done playing the games and I turn everything off, it just routes itself back to being my third monitor. None of that stuff was working when I came down here. It was out for like, it was Sunday, I couldn't get it to work. And all day yesterday, I couldn't get it to work. And I just kept messing with stuff, kept unplugging stuff, kept doing stuff, and then it just popped on after I already spent money. So I sit here and, and, and think, if I want to stay up tonight and do it, or if I just want to do it tomorrow, smart thing would be to do it tomorrow. But I'm stubborn. So even with me starting not to feel good right now, I would sit down here and do it. And plus, a lot of this, like this, that switcher and all that stuff is like um, <coughs> four or five years old now. So it's it's good to replace it it's been giving me issues i've just been putting up with it so. um i love how there are so many genres and sub genres in omniscient reader with less than a tenth of the people could do it that with less than 10 10 a tenth of the people could do a novel 100 percent gets more complicated still no plot hole personally for now i agree the sheer amount of ideas and the way that the author somehow melds them all together a sensible manner really makes omniscient reader special i agree i i absolutely agree i've never read a series like this never read a series like this where it confounds so many different genres so many different ideas i'm telling you like all the star stream stuff is so big brain that i don't even think about it like i'm telling y'all when i say i don't think about it i don't think about it only time I think about it is when <coughs> y'all see me struggle to try to talk about it. And then I'm like, I'm done. And I, I don't think about it. Like when I think about Omniscient Reader, <coughs> my brain don't think about that stuff at all. That's a, such a huge part to the series that has been slowly drip fed to us. <laughs> And it's like, it's such a massive part of the series. It's basically controlling everything in a way. And it's like, <coughs> I can't even make sense of it. It feels like that's how it should be. Like you shouldn't be able to easily comprehend the heavens above. You shouldn't be able to easily comprehend that. That should take effort to understand it because it's beyond your understanding that's a it's a it's the only way i can put it, it makes sense why it why why it is a struggle you mean twitch <laughs> <laughs> yeah totally i do i do now nah, i mean streaming in general I had to do like, I was doing an unlisted stream. We were doing some Discord stuff, right? And I had to do an unlisted stream. And Twitch, you don't, you can't do unlisted streams. And if you didn't know this, now you know with how OBS works now, for every single different streaming platform, you have to go into the settings of OBS and change it to whichever streaming platform it is. Before it used to be you have your stream key and that's it. You copy your stream key <coughs> into whatever website it is and then you, that's how you stream. But now it's like I go in the settings, I switch it from YouTube to Twitch, this and that. And when you do it, everything changes on OBS. It all moves around and jumps and then looks similar to the site you're using. So I've been using Twitch for so long now that I had to you do an unlisted stream for YouTube and I switched it over and everything changed. And I was like, I don't know what I'm doing. anymore. Because for you, like for Twitch, when it's set up, you just press start streaming and then the stream just pops on it's live. But on YouTube, when you want to do a stream first, well, you could just hit live and go live. 
but then every time you go live it would just be the same instance every single time it's weird you don't want to do it it messes everything up because you randomly could just start stream and just be live and never know and then it's over but um how what on youtube you um make a broadcast so it, you make a broadcast you set the stream up title all this stuff all this stuff and then you press schedule sc schedule stream and then it brings you to the window where you then would press live and then go live but once you create the you have to create that instance on youtube first then come over to twitch and switch your twitch <coughs> Switch your Twitch. Switch OBS. You have to come over to OBS. Switch OBS to YouTube. After you create the stream on YouTube, you then have to go to manage broadcast on OBS. It'll then generate your streams. You click on the stream you created. It pulls it up. Then you press live. That's too many steps, man. Too many damn steps. But, and then... <laughs> I gotta sign in and reconfigure and I don't got time for all this stupid technology so yes the star stream and the constellations and all that bull crap that's up there and Amish and reader <laughs> is these streaming platforms uh, I'm done my voice is over now I need to decide if I want to be fat or not and eat ice cream Uh, I might have a good reason for it. <laughs> All right, I'm a, I'm calling it here. I thank you guys. I'm pooped. I use I'm done. I'm finito. Most recent chapters have been insane. I'm excited. I can't wait. Five weeks ahead, right? Five weeks ahead. I still have hair right here. I shaved my head tonight. I miss a spot. Okay, um, I imagine you looking for tutorials. <laughs> it's, it's the worst. Seven-ish. Okay, that's not bad. That's not bad. It's not, it's not 12, right? It's not, it's not three months. It's not bad. That's not bad, bad. Not that bad. Not that bad. It's less than two months. It's less than two months. It's not that bad. It's not three. It's not Tower God, right? So we're good. I can live. All right, I'm gonna call it. Thank you guys. I appreciate you guys. Have a good rest of your Tuesday. Have a good Wednesday. <coughs> Have a good rest of your week. Have a good weekend coming up. And hopefully, God willing, see you guys right back here next Tuesday for chapter 200. Chapter 200. Hopefully, it's a good one. Chapter 200 of Omniscient Reader. So, again, thank you. I appreciate you guys. And I thank you. Peace out.